receiving radio stations with the slurk tuned shortwave radio. And I want to demonstrate here the so called uh, fading. And then the fading that has very strange properties anyway. This is one radio station. And this is the strange fading that you can also uh, hear on, on shortwave and of course not with uh, commercial radios. They have always a kind of fading compensation but this radio doesn't have that so you see all the say um, physical phenomenon of the Earth's atmosphere, etc., etc. This is what I meant. This kind of fading. With a, say, a normal shortwave radio. You don't hear these effects often. Uh, sometimes, I mean sometimes, you, you hear them because uh, the automatic fading control in your shortwave radio cannot compensate it. But this radio has no fading compensation at all. That's the reason why you hear these effects. The radio signal drowns, drowns in a certain way in the noise. And that noise is amplified and not amplified, etc. etc. But our ears compensate this, and that's a very important thing in shortwave listening. Your ears can compensate a lot. Also, uh, pick up out of noise and very strange shortwave phenomena, fading, etc., etc. The right information, the real um, voice or audio sound or whatever. 
our ears are in fact very very intelligent in a certain way to compensate this It's also fading. It's a strong radio station, but there's also a slight fading. Después de que este miserable de tres patines la haya engañado tanto, ahora esté de su lado. 